<laughs> I am back, fellas. My third P. Chelmsworth is back. And now, I'm going to take over all of Ninjago. <laughs> Hold on, I think I forgot something on my own. <gasps> Who are you? Well, I am Pyther P. Chumsworth. No, 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 you're not Pyther P. Chumsworth. I am Pyther P. Chumsworth. You're not Pyther P. Chumsworth. And besides, I'm purple, and you're white. Well, at least I'm, like, more detailed than you. Oh, come on. I, if we even are, th besides, my teeth are very sharper than yours. <laughs> and if you are my fake, then why do you look so similar to me? It's because we're the same person. I'm you from the future. How are you, me from the future? If you possibly are me from the future, then what set do I come out in? Let me guess. <laughs> the ultrasonic rare because there's no other set that I come in. Actually, for Legacy, you came in. You come in like two more sets, like the Ultra Dragon and J Stormfighter. Wait, what? Hello guys, it's me Lolbin Ninjago, and I'm back to do another Ninjago Legacy review. And this is on the second set, I've got, like, like, it's called J Stormfighter, and, um, I got this yesterday, like, my aunt, like, got for me, like, after we saw the Lego movie. And basically, me and my cousin could, like, pick up, like, one, only one thing. Like, the price doesn't matter. And I chose J Stormfighter because it's the cheapest way to get this boy. <laughs> yeah, I got it because it's the cheapest way to get this boy. Big purple boy, yeah. And nunchucks of lightning because I want to play like the the golden weapons. Like I don't have Cole's Arc Driller, but I did make a cu a custom side of quakes. So yeah, might be think of getting the the Cole's Arc Drill sometime. But now we'll have to focus on this custom one for now. So yeah, let's do the review on the main figures first. Oh wait, where is the Stormfighter, might be asking. Um, Jay? Yes? Can you use your nunchucks and summon the, the lightning jet? I mean, a uh, Stormfire? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, now that's better. So first main figure we're gonna be looking at is Jay. And yeah, it's a very good main figure. Like, this suit, like, appears in Ninjago March of the Oni. Yes, it's, like, very good main figure on the back. It has, like... He has like his original symbol like on the back and some dragon printing, golden dragon printing. So yeah. And onto the mask, he has his Ninjago movie face and on the back he has like th the other one. So yeah. Also the mask like uses a new mold of some sort. So yeah. Yeah, it basically does use a new mold of that. Now on to Nia. So the second main figure of you gonna be looking at is Nia. So yeah, she has her spear. Looks just like she does in March of the Oni and the Legacy shorts. And yeah, like on the back has her like original symbol of like dragon printing. Like honestly, like there's a bunch of like, 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 like a bunch of red and blue. Yeah, no wonder she's stuck with, like, gray and such. <laughs> Definitely not sponsored. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a very good main figure. This main figure also appears in the monster and the... Um, what? And also the, um, the spinners and, and the monster training. Um, Jay also... Yeah, this main figure also appears in the spinners and the monastery. So, yeah. Like, this is the cheapest way to get both these minifigures if you don't want to get the Monastery Train Set or the Spinners. Yeah, so, yeah. The, that's Nia. Next off we have is your boy, Pythor, Pete Tumsworth. So, yeah. He'll, like, he uses, like, that, the new, like, design. Like, like, his old purple design. So, yeah, he is now purple. And just look at his, his torso. Yep, like, it looks like a bit similar to, like, this one, but it's, but there's, like, more, like, scales on it, like, black scales and, like, 
muscle like abs <laughs> and snake printing yeah on his head is he has like it's like they took like this thing and just put it right dab in the middle like right dab yeah and he has like the staff as a weapon so yeah that's pythor i forgot to mention that pythor also comes in the ultra dragon set so yeah this is the cheapest set you can cheapest way to, for you to get him so yeah that's pythor so next maybe you have is lasha and i'd like to do a comparison of the the 2012 lasha with the 2019 lasha so it has a bunch of differences like like the eyes more blacked out and there aren't like scratch marks on like directly on the on his missing eye he's like his tongue is like curled off like in the 2012 version, like, it's not curled up. Like, Lasha has, like, a bit of armor on his torso. And on the 2012, like, there isn't, like, this bit of scratch marks. And there's a bunch more, like, bruh, like, like, blue, green sc scales. But there isn't a bunch of green scales, like, on the legs rather than, like, anywhere else. So, and on the head, it's obviously a bit different, like... At the back of the head, like this goes out, but like this doesn't go out, like but this does. Like this is basically a lighter green, but this is basically like a darker green. So yeah, that's a comparison. So yeah, mm, like th this is like the most common surfer teen minifigure that you can get in this wave. Like this minifigure also comes out in the Kai's and Kai and Zane's uh, Kai's Blade Cycle and Zane's Snowmobile. And also comes in the larger Ultra Dragon set. So yeah, this very good minifigure. And on the back, eh, like, there's more armor and potions. Like, there's a bit, like, like more scales on there. Like, more scales than ever. Ha <laughs> no, definitely not pun. Yeah, you know, for having, for like, it's a bit copyright of mine now, yeah. And he has brown hands, like, he does have brown hands in the original May figure. Yeah, he also has, like, a little, like, blade thing like that, like, fang blade, ha <laughs> ha uh, copyright, it's my, it's my, mine. So, yeah, that was the last May figure, now it's time to look at the stand. There's nothing much for the stand, but you can put the nunchucks of lightning in the stand, like, if Python wants to, like, keep them as a trophy. <laughs> these, these nunchucks look a great, look like a great trophy. <laughs> so, yeah, like, there's not much to it, but just, like, a little side build to the set. So, yeah, now it's time to look at J Stormfire. But before we do that, it's time to use these nunchucks. Bam. That is beautiful. Now let's look at the Stormfire. Like there's like like on the nose there's like a bit of black. Like basically like the bottom is like gray and then like close to the bottom is like black. Uh not trying to uh, black. <laughs> I'll just try to be racist by just saying black. So yeah. Like when you get close to the back, like there's like like some white on there. And there's also white like like near like the bottom, yeah. Like it's like it's like Jay's normal color is like blue. Like I don't know why there needs to be so much white. And also like there's like this tire thing. Like when you push it down, and it activates like the wing expanding thing. And on each side, it's like its own similar thing. Like there's like a like a can right here. It's like a like this a fan thing right there. There's like little like. Like wing pieces and make have it make that like aerodynamic kind of like vibe. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it makes like the thing look aerodynamic. Yeah. So yeah. And like on each side, there's like a spring load shooter on each side. So yeah. And on the back, there's like these little fan things and like thrusters and yeah. And, but when I activate this wing spanning function, you'll see that if you press this down. Yep, you can activate the wingspan function. And how they do it is like with these string pieces, like they just put in the set, like like on that thing. And when you like pull that thing, like the wings band up. And yeah, like I actually think this is like a lot better than the 2012 version. Like 
Like the wings are more better, like they blade things. Yeah, they're more better. Um, yep. Yep, and there's also like a bit of white between there. Like the function is like a little bit exposed. But yeah, I'm not gonna judge. Like, also, when you open the cockpit area, let me just take Jay out for a second. Like, there's like a little bit of storage area in there. Like if you want, like, I think I know what the storage area is for. It seems like you can put the nunchucks of lightning in there. So yeah, it can, like, it could be like similar to the show, like, Jay's nunchucks can like become the storm fighter. And yeah, I think that's what the storage, the storage space is for. Like. It's for the nunchucks of lightning. So yeah, there's also like lightning pieces. And this thing, like this set, like appears in one of the legacy shorts called like Blue Lightning. Where Jay recalls the time when he stops Che. Like um, when he stops um, Pythor and the Vanamari from like, st like stealing um, the Master Chen's new trucks. So yeah, that's basically like where this like, design like, came from. So yeah, like you can also like push these back in, like make it like like more aerodynamic again. So yeah, that's Jay Stormfire. There's also like you can also like shoot these spring loaded missiles. Like they've been out for like five years, so people basically know what like how they work. Like you just press this and then they just spring out. I basically just keep them in because um. I don't like to lose them, so yeah, that's Jay Stormfighter. So yeah, that was Jay Stormfighter. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to see more FNAF player videos and ding that bell to get notifications on on my like videos I, that I made of like Ninjago, Final Fantasy Freddy's, and uh, whatnot. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.